Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a review for you on the new Cover FX Power Play Foundation. I'm actually wearing this foundation right now, and from afar I think it looks nice. But I have to say, I don't really love this foundation. I don't hate it, but it's not really gonna be one that I'm going to purchase. So let me tell you why. Now let me just read you the claims of this foundation and I'll comment on it as we go. On the Sephora website, this is what it says. It says that it's full coverage, which I do not agree with. I think you really can build this up to full coverage, but honestly, I feel like this is a medium coverage foundation. And when something is full coverage, it usually goes on pretty close to that, if not full coverage right from the start. And I do apply my foundations with a beauty blender, but I still find that the ones are, that are full coverage will still apply pretty close to that, maybe just a step below it, but I'm certainly able to build it up to that pretty easily. And I feel like this one, it was hard to build it up. You can even see that I have a little bit of a blemish right here. And you'll see in the demo that I did apply a couple layers on top of this and it still was hard to cover this up. It's still showing through. So to me, that doesn't mean that it's full coverage. And it says that it's for combination and oily skin types. Oily? Yeah, maybe. Definitely not combination, honestly, in my opinion. I'm combination. Now we are in still colder months, so my skin definitely is still a little bit drier than it would normally be, and certainly more than it will be in spring and summer, but it really hangs on to those dry patches. So if you have any bit of dryness, this is not going to look too great on your skin. You can definitely get away with this if you really moisturize, but I even put on an oil, uh, you know, before I applied this foundation because I had come out of the shower and so I really wanted to add a little extra moisture because I've tried this a few times and I definitely noticed that when my skin was a little more drier, like out of the shower, that this would be a little trickier for me to apply. If I applied this when I wasn't straight out of the shower, then I had a little bit of a better result but I want to be able to apply it both ways, of course. And I very often do apply my foundation after the shower just because I end up putting on makeup after I get out of the shower. But even with an oil on top, it still did tend to stick to some of those dry patches. I don't know if you'll be able to tell super well in the demo. I tried to get up close to the camera to really show you, but a little bit around my nose, a little bit up here, you know, definitely on my cheeks right here, it just gets a little bit dry. I even used a dewy foundation just a little bit right there because it just looked really, really dry, especially when I was applying my concealer. And I wasn't applying a ton of concealer, but it just really looked dry around this area. Now it says that the finish is matte, but it does call it a modern matte. And I'm not really sure what that's supposed to mean exactly, but it definitely feels pretty matte to me. I don't feel like there's any glow to it, which is okay if that's what you're looking for. But I wanted to have a little bit more life to it and it just didn't really have that in my opinion. Now the exact description on Sephora's website, it says it's a modern matte blurring foundation with weightless full coverage that provides sweat proof all day wear, long lasting shine control, environmental protection, and a finish that will not oxidize. Now I think a lot of those things are true. I definitely think that it's a matte foundation. But again, I don't really think that this is full coverage. I do feel like it feels pretty weightless. I don't feel like I have a heavy amount of makeup on. Now I did put some pretty thin layers of on top of my skin. I didn't apply and apply and apply. And I don't wanna have to do that with any foundation. I don't necessarily want something that's super full coverage, but if you are looking for something that is, and this says that it is, this is not really what you're going to be looking for. I wouldn't really say that it's blurring. I don't think that it shows, you know, my pores terribly, but I wouldn't say that it really blurs them either. I do think that it wears pretty well throughout the day. I did find that it faded a little bit when I wore it throughout an entire day, but not badly. I really do think that when it did fade, it just sort of, you know, it faded gracefully. It just kind of looked like my skin was peeking through. And I, I don't mind that. You may, however. I do think that it's great that it's vegan. So for those of you who are looking for something that's vegan, that's really great for you. And I think that it has a great shade range. So all of those things are really, really positive. I do think if you have oily skin, this is gonna be more for you. I think for us combo skin people, this may work for us in the spring and summer, but it's definitely not gonna be the best foundation for the drier months. 
and maybe you don't mind that. I kind of like to have things that I can at least pull off the rest of the year. This I feel like I can pull off, but it's gonna be a little bit more difficult for me. I'm gonna really have to work with it. So that's why I just don't think that I would be purchasing this one. I'm glad that I got to try it, and I do think that it's nice, but I just had higher hopes for this. I don't think that this is quite what I was looking for. The other thing that I have to comment on, which I don't personally have because I got a sample of it from Sephora, they were squeezing the bottle to give me a little bit of a sample in, you know, one of these little sample cups. And I'm sure that there was a lot less in that bottle than you would get, you know, in the beginning because they were giving out lots of samples and all of that and trying it out. But you could see the struggle. You could see that because it was this squeezy bottle and it's not a flexible squeezy bottle. I'll put a picture up on the screen so you can see what I'm talking about. But... I can tell that when you get to the very bottom of this foundation, you're just not going to be able to get all of the product out. And I don't really love that. I really like to get my money's worth when I buy a foundation, especially if it's a high-end foundation. And you know, if it's one that's a pump, when it doesn't pump anymore, then you can take the pump out and you can buy something like this that you'll see I used in the demo. This is a little beauty spatula, which I highly recommend. I'll link it down below. It's from Amazon. It was under $10. And it makes it really easy to scoop out foundation and get your money's worth. And with a bottle like that, you're not gonna be able to do that because the squeezy part, it doesn't allow you to take it off, if that makes sense. So something like this that has, you know, a, a pump, you can then, you know, screw this off, take it out, and then I can take my spatula and get the rest of it out. So I like to be able to do that. And you can't do that with that foundation. And I feel like when you get to the very bottom, you're gonna get kind of fed up with struggling to squeeze it out, that you're just gonna toss it and you're not gonna get the full amount of product that's in the bottle. I think if you're gonna have a squeezy type bottle, it'd be better for it to be something like this, where you can really squeeze it all out and get all of the product out. So, you know, you don't necessarily have to think about something like that when you first start using a foundation and there's tons of product in there, but it's something that will come up later, you know, down the road. So just keep that in mind if you tend to go through foundations. Do I think that this is a bad foundation? No, I don't. I think that it's nice. I think, you know, if you do have pretty oily skin, this might work really, really well for you. But coming from someone who has combo skin and, you know, I'm a little drier right now, it's not working the best. So I think unless you have oily skin, this is gonna be a little bit of a tricky foundation. I really do think that this is more for oily skin or you know, combo that's leaning more towards oily or combo that's in the summer. You know, in the summer when you're definitely getting very sweaty, I think that this will work well. I do think that it kind of sits on the skin. I think from afar it looks good, but if you were to look up really close, which I know many people aren't, but you know, I like my foundation to still look really good close up. I don't think it looks as weightless as it feels. It does feel very weightless, but I think close up, you can really see it on the skin. I do feel like everything went really nicely on top. You know, I still powdered it because I just always powder. And I think that, you know, the rest of my products went on really nicely and I didn't have any struggle with, you know, patchiness or anything like that. I don't know how it would work, you know, if I didn't powder my skin, but I always do. So I'm not really concerned with that. All in all, I really didn't hate it. It's just not my favorite. So I would say, you know, and this goes along with any foundation, go and get a sample of it. And that's the nice thing about, you know, Sephora or a department store like Nordstrom. Get a nice sample of a foundation that you're interested in and you'll get at least a few days wear of that foundation because, you know, you may like it the first time you wear it, but your opinion may change the next day and the next day. So it's good to at least try it a few times before making up your mind. The first time that I tried this, I did like it pretty well. Again, I applied it when I was not fresh out of the shower. Then the second day that I tried it, I didn't love it because my skin looked really, really dry. So then when I tried it the third time, I made sure to really moisturize and I still had a little bit of a struggle, but it wasn't quite as bad. So I had three pretty different experiences. You may need to try, you know, different type of primers. You may need to try different powders. I don't love when a product is really, really picky <laughs> with the products that you use with it. You know, I like to not have to think, oh, I'm using this foundation, so I can't use this concealer. I can't use this powder. I have to use this primer. I don't really like to think that way. And, you know, 
that's not necessarily going to be my go-to because sometimes I don't want to have to think that hard. I want to be able to just put all my products on and not have to think about it because I'm more excited about putting on, you know, my other products like my eyeshadow or my lips or something like that. I don't necessarily want to have to be too worried about how my base is going to look. I certainly want it to look good and I want to spend some time on it, but I also don't want to like think too hard and I don't I want to get through that part because I want to put on my eyeshadow or my blush or my highlight, that kind of thing. I think it will really just depend on your preferences and your skin type. Skin type is going to be huge. So you definitely, you know, want to try this one out, but I would say I don't recommend it if you have dry skin. If you have any bit of dry skin, you either have to stay far away from this foundation or you have to really, really moisturize and make sure that you don't have any dry patches because it's just not going to look good on those. All right, so now it is time for the demo. You can see that I definitely have a blemish there and I've got some redness on my face. And you'll see, I just don't really think that it covers it up completely, at least not for a, a foundation that claims that it's full coverage. By the way, I apologize for my voice. I do have a cold now as I'm doing this voiceover, but not while I was filming this. Just so you know, the dryness on my nose was not because of a cold. I didn't have a cold then. And I do it in sections because I definitely felt like this dried down really quickly. So this is not one where you want to put product all over your face and blend it out. And I just felt like, and you'll be able to see that there's still redness peeking through. I even added, you know, a second and third layer of this foundation. And I just didn't really feel like it covered everything up. And, you know, I want a full coverage foundation to do that. If I'm going to put on something that says that it's full coverage, that's what I'm expecting. And I put product on that blemish. It just didn't seem to totally cover it. It wouldn't really stick there. So just not the foundation that I would go for. You know, if, especially if I'm looking to cover up everything and really hide imperfections and redness. So you can see all over the face. Not bad, but not great either. And you can see definitely the dryness around my nose and on my forehead. You know, it's definitely not blurring the lines on my forehead. And, you know, everything is still peeking through. So there you go. You can see it for yourself. All right, everyone. So that is it. I hope that you enjoyed hearing about this foundation. I'm glad that I got a sample of it because I was really considering getting it. And now I've decided that I'm not going to get it. Definitely let me know in the comment section below if you've used this foundation and what you think about it. And let me know if there are other foundations that you'd like me to try. I know that for me, I find that a lot of YouTubers that at least I watch have dry skin <laughs> or they have oily skin. And I don't find a lot of people that have combination skin. So if you have combination skin and you find that it's hard to you know, find someone on YouTube that you can relate to, at least as far as your skin type goes, then you might want to hear what I have to say about a foundation because, you know, someone might be talking about how much they love this foundation, but it may not work for your skin type. So definitely let me know if there are other foundations that you are interested in, especially if you have combination skin like me. If you like this video, please make sure and give it a big thumbs up. That really does help out my channel so much. Please subscribe if you are not already. I would love to have you stick around and I really hope to see you next time. Bye.